It's always a busy time at this gym, but it's been even busier this year. And uh, to top off everything, you had uh, awards night last night. Yeah, yeah. Managed to get uh, myself and Israel some nominations to the Halberg Awards, so yeah, it was great. And Israel managed to win his, his category, uh, Male Sportsman of the Year. Yeah, that, people overseas watching this will, probably don't understand how big a, a deal it is. It's, uh, it's uh, New Zealand's biggest awards uh, where all the sports come together and uh, good to be part of it for the first time, basically. Yeah, I think I think every every country has the major sporting awards. I think in America it's called the ESPYS, uh, and you know the, everybody has them. And for New Zealand, it's the uh, prestigious Halberg Awards. Mm. And a bit of history there going down with Israel being the first martial artist to to win, and uh, you were in the in the category picked by the Silver Ferns who won the World Cup and. New Zealand's been a dominant rugby netball country. How, how did you? What was your take on the whole night? Uh, that was fantastic, and uh, you know, uh, I've already stated that I only we decided to come at the last minute. We weren't going to attend. We've just uh, at like we like to do. We were just going about our business. Um, but uh, we slowly but surely learned the importance of the event and uh, particularly the importance of the event to a lot of other people that uh, we associate ourselves with. So uh, we quickly changed our mind and managed to get to that event. But the event was uh, fantastic. It was good to dress up in a suit. I would have been in a suit probably three times my entire life. So just get in a suit and uh, mix and mingle in different circles to what we usually do was very interesting for us so yeah and this morning back in here at quarter past five in the morning to uh, <laughs> do you want to worry your program yeah yeah quarter past five so i gotta get here nice and early so 4 20 I, I woke up um yeah it's a funny story last night um the netball uh, lady nolene must have said something about getting up at 6 a.m. and something, and then one of my guys turned around and said, 6 a.m.? This is sleeping for us. We get up at 4.20 every morning. <laughs> so uh, like he turned around and said that, and we just had a good laugh. Um, but no, it was a fantastic event. Like for Israel to get uh, recognized amongst those mainstream sports and and and, and essentially beat some of those mainstream sports to that uh, pr prestigious award was massive for our sport and for all the hard work that people had done long before I ever got here uh, people have been pushing the sport to the level of recognition it is at now it's still got some of the ways to go but you know like uh, if, if, if I be honest I had my doubts that um, we were there to win a prize, I thought we were there. Us being there was more of a token offering. Um, we kind of forced our way there because for our success, like you had to put us there, you had to put us in the room. But I thought um, we didn't have too much of a chance of winning. Um, yeah, I mean, <coughs> and, I, and I, I did a little bit of research and, and I discovered that when Joseph Parker won his world title, they didn't give him the Sportsman of the Year or the Supreme uh, Sportsman of the Year award, which is to me is amazing. Like, uh, and 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 I, and I realise I might be a little bit biased, but the most prestigious prize in sports is a heavyweight world title, boxing heavyweight world title. The history with boxing and the people that have held that title going back hundreds of years. Um, yeah, and remembering at one time boxing was the most popular sport in the world. Uh, a truly global sport. A truly global sport. More global than mixed martial arts. And uh, he wasn't able to win it that year. So that, when I saw that, when I did my research and saw that, I definitely was a little bit deflated because uh, it just showed me, and that was, that was not long ago, that this country and that fraternity and uh, uh, 
generations of people don't have a very um, a very good a very good understanding of of our sport and combat sports and just how wonderful it is, just how technical it is, just how you know something like mixed martial arts, you know. Every sphere of science is involved, whether it be physiology, psychology, uh, sports science, anatomy. Uh, it, it's just, yeah, it's an amazing technical sport, and people just don't understand that. And it was, uh, it, it's getting inside the hearts and minds of those people. And Israel winning that award uh, was an absolute, you know, that 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 is goes so far you know to saying something for us you know like it's so difficult our sport is so so different to those other sports we <coughs> when i looked amongst those sports like uh you know that you, you're putting a ball through a ring you're frying a, a heavy ball as far as you can you're putting a ball over a line you know like i, I for me those are games they're games, those are, those are like games, fun games. But it, what we do is, you, no one's ever gonna put that in the category of a game. Um, and it's hard, people people don't understand that. Like, it, it's very hard for people to understand that. So, you know, like, when, 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 my, when my guys fight, they're fighting to conserve their health and well-being, to conserve their life. When I take them into, when, when, when I coach them, I'm coaching them to preserve their life, to look after them. Um, I'm not strategizing to, you know, the best way to get the ball over the line or through the hoop. Like, it's a it's completely different dynamic. And getting people to understand that is always gonna be our challenge. But we went a long way uh, last night uh, to doing that. And, and I think, uh, I think New Zealand is, is, is changing, the landscape is changing. I think people are starting to understand this, uh, this great, great sport that we've, always, that, that we've fallen in love with. Well put, I feel like well put, mate. Hey, um, before we move on, uh, I thought the funniest story was we, we hopped in, of course you and Israel had to go in earlier and have a uh, practice run and what you were going to do. and. Um, we hopped in the van to go from here and somebody told me the story that you went to pick Israel up. Israel's got a uh, 600 and something thousand dollar car and uh, you go there and you pick them up and you're a Honda <laughs> to go to the most prestigious award. My, my 1988 Honda Civic, the one uh, I still drive to this day. Um, I don't know. That was just me being cheeky. I'm sure he. I'm sure he had plans maybe to go on his McLaren, but we we went on the Mick Civic. So, um, but he it was just us having a laugh, you know. Like we, me and him, travelled the country in that car, going from city to city, trying to get fights. Like that car is a part of my history and getting us from A to B and. And that's why I've still got it, because I can't get rid of it because of that emotional attachment. So I was like, man, let's go and I'm going to take this car, you know, like, so it's a bit of tongue in cheek, but a bit of fun. So he understood. He, he had a good laugh. What it is, yeah. it's a bit you all over. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, a bit of fun. Cheers, mate. Thanks for Yeah, no worries, Tony.